And thanks for having me yarn today, Robin, about all the beautiful things, pedagogy and the practice that happens in your learning space, the emu room, and, mm -hmm. the, and with the children here at Gundu, and just thought we'd have a look at this beautiful footage yep. and, and reflect together on some of that beautiful work to, to share further. So as you can see here, we're inside of the room. We set up the um, table like this because the children found interest in the animals. Mm. They really liked to play with them everywhere they went. They would take them outside or they would play with them in the room. We extended this learning experience by putting up little pictures of the animals onto the whiteboard. Mm. And from there on, we took the learning experiences also outside by also setting up outside the outdoor environment to also stimulate them. It's like the learning extends from the indoor environment to the outdoor and mm -hmm. um, we really follow the children's interests. We would go, we would talk about going on a nature walk and the children love the nature walk. So as you can see here now we're going outside. Uh, you want to hold it? There you go. What can you see in there? Are you going to fly? Oh, oh. In extending on our little learning journey here with the animals and the outdoor, we decided to also set up areas in, like with the planks, the A-frames and things just to give them that bit of a physical challenge as well and still keeping that imagination with them, you know, like pretending that we're climbing up and we're climbing down and we're walking through and we've got to be careful. Yeah. There's water there on the ground and... You set up the environment, you design it to support daily what you're learning and your investigations with children. So we also gave the children some of the magnifying glasses. Yes, yeah, so I was just seeing um, here where you're investigating, looks like what animals are outside. What yeah. can we find outside? We would go around the trees, look around the trees. The children also loved ants and insects, creepy crawly things. So we went outside looking around, investigating. I, what is it? What can you see? They love those magnifying glasses too. And having these resources readily available for them to have outside, inside, and I noticed there was paints over in the other space over here. Mm. So, yeah, offering inviting spaces for children to explore. Look at this! They're all coming towards the jungle. This is where the crocodiles are, through the jungle. So here we, we come towards our little jungle forest sort of walk and we set it up hanging some stuff there. So we got the kids to look up in the trees and sometimes we would ask them, you know, you get them to try and get them to use their imaginations. Where's those monkeys and things like this? And the children would respond to it and say, there it is, it's up there. Monkey ones, you look. Can you see any monkeys in the tree? Hi. Oh, up there. You can see him pointing there. Looking for some animal living in the tree. They're good at using their imagination as well. Mm. Oh, there he is. There's one up there. <laughs> Sometimes they just look up there to see the birds up there, if there's any magpies or any sort of crows. Sometimes we get parrots up in our trees here, so in the afternoons and around this time. And children working together, it's like you have your own community of learners there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all happy to be around. So a lot of this is just making the children think, mm. think where they are, what they are, where they live. You're just nurturing their imaginations. Yeah, too. yeah. Okay, let's save. Just saw you, Robin, in that um, footage there with the Aboriginal flag in your hand. 
So you fly the flags out in your yeah, area? Yeah, we fly them at the back here in the area here because I believe that it's important to acknowledge who we are, what ground we're standing on as well. Be proud, because I like to instill that into the children about who they are. So I believe that culture is very important. Good job, please. Just go with the flow, do, you know, with whatever the children want to do. You set it up and then, like, if that doesn't work, then you just go with whatever the children want, you know. Just go with them. They'll take you on the journey, I think, too. Yes. <laughs> Rather than us taking them, I think we can learn a lot from them, too.